figured I'd try jumping on here. Quick while I do some cardio. I'm doing an elliptical. My back is bothering me. What's up, Ryan? What's up, brother? Figured I would jump on live. <laughs> doing my cardio instead of watching a YouTube video. What's up, Art? My back's been bothering me, so I figured. Yeah, dude, I'm on the fucking elliptical right now because my back's been bothering me and this motion seems to help my lower back. How's Hawaii, dude? <laughs> no, I definitely don't fucking run. Unless it's for the pizza. <laughs> How's Hawaii, dude? All right, what's up, brother? I think what I'm gonna do for the month of May or June is I think I'm gonna actually do a, uh, do a big cut. Does pot kill your calorie endurance? No, not at all. Um, I actually smoked right before I came to the gym. By the way, Ryan, you should try Ghost pre-workout with taking like a big hit of weed right before the gym. Yo, our, my video, or my favorite pre-workout, what's up, Richard? Uh, my favorite pre-workout is, what's up, Justin? Or just can't fucking see your name because my eyes keep bouncing up and down. But using weed, and a regular pre-workout is by far my, my favorite combination for a pre-workout. And I've tried a shitload of them. You just started cutting, right? I think, so I just weighed myself for the first time since uh, in mid-October. And I am 231 pounds. So I'm thinking for the month of June, do like more of an extreme, <laughs> do more of an extreme cut. Yo, Ryan, you should try it, dude. Try smoking some weed right before you take your pre-workout. All right, you should try it too. I mean, as long as like, you know, obviously don't do anything illegal and all that shit, but you know what I mean. I, I, just, I get like this crazy tunnel vision when I do it and smoking the weed probably was like, oh, Sam, let's get on Instagram. And like, I probably wouldn't have thought that yesterday, you know? My favorite is actually the vape and I'll bring it on the fucking, um, Dude, um, weed is legal here in Massachusetts. You can just go to the store and buy it. I went there the other day. And, but it's like ridiculously expensive. You did? I tried like a crazy ass pre-workout the other day where I combined like SARMs. Obviously, like for research purposes, but I took some SARMs with Cialis salt, about a uh, teaspoon of salt, regular pre-workout, and some other stuff. Don't get drug tested at work. Me, no. No, I, I work in financial services, so basically they just don't give a shit as long as you produce, <laughs> essentially, and you're not barred from like the financial markets. They don't give a shit. Yo, I was actually took like a, a one and a half times normal dose for the Cialis, which is, I think is around 30 milligrams. And then, hey, what's up, Healthy Temples, 77. Um, I did the, right now I have this crazy stack. Ryan, when I get home, I'll shoot you a fucking message. I have this four different ones that I start. <laughs> what's up, Jack? Yeah, I know. I was thinking about it because weed's legal here, but it's ridiculously expensive. I don't know if anybody else smokes weed, but you know those vaporizing pens? You get like a, a vape and then you put the pen in there with the oil. So from where I would buy them before, I'd pay 30, 30 bucks maybe if I was getting five, like a stockpile, or like 40 bucks if I was just getting like one and it was expensive. But generally it's between 30 and 40 bucks. I go into, uh, I go into the store up here. This is in Massachusetts to buy legal weed, right? And go in the store, pretending like I know what the fuck I'm talking about, when literally I have no idea what I'm talking about. I used to tell my friend and he would just give it to me. Like I know nothing about fucking weed. And go in the store, I'm sitting there like this. The, the, they're called bud tenders. Bud tenders look at me and she's like, can I help you? And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to like look at the glass, pretending like I understand what the fuck I'm looking at and literally have no fucking clue. And uh, the uh, 
and I was like, I told her, oh, you need to explain to me like actually what the fuck I'm doing because I have no idea. One of those little pens was $120. And she's like, oh yeah, because it's better quality. I'm like, bitch, this is not fucking four times the price. All you do is talk with your hands, dude. Yo, I don't know, bro. My hands are fucking sick. Take the fast of going. <laughs> Yeah, the, the arm pieces on the elliptical actually help with my back. I don't know what it is, but my lower back's been bothering me lately. I just got like the YK11 uh, S4 and two other um, SARMs from uh, this place in Europe. Uh, SARMstore.co.co or something, or UK, I think it is. It's .co.uk. And they have like a decent supply of shit. And shipping came in pretty quick. And I have one more bottle of something else. I tried Yohim Bean for the first time. But I think I'm gonna save most of that for the month of June when I'm doing my cutting. So I figured maybe I should start doing like a, a live every time I do my cardio. Cause this would probably be more productive than just scrolling around on Instagram. How's Hawaii, dude? Lately I've been trying salt is my pre-workout. So taking a teaspoon of just regular ionized salt, I think I'm saying that right. Cutting with just cardio. Um, well right now, I'm actually like just maintaining. I'm just kind of, I always keep cardio in my diet, in my workouts now. Cause when I was younger, I never used to keep it in. But then you realize like, you have multiple different ways of being healthy. Like think mental health versus like physical health. Somebody could be in like the best physical health, but mentally they're just like fucked, right? So the same thing like that, but with uh, cardiovascular health. So see, people could either be mentally healthy, they could be physically healthy, but their cardiovascular health could suck balls real bad. So I always add in cardio now, even if it's just like 10 minutes or, you know, I generally do between like, 20 to 40 minutes, but tonight I'll probably just do 15 or 20 because my girlfriend's here. The sick man going to Cali in a few weeks. Oh, are you and uh, Cassie going to fucking Cali? Um, did Cassie see I reposted her account? I don't know if that was helpful or not with those pictures she does. Oh, for June, yeah. So, uh, all right, for June, what I'm going to do, what I'm thinking is probably start the month out, month out on DMP. Well, obviously, just for research purposes because anything I talk about. It's uh, just for entertainment purposes, you know. Got to throw that disclaimer out there. But um, for anybody else who watches this after the fact, uh, so I was thinking about starting out for probably the first week to ten days with uh, DNP. DNP probably every other day, somewhere between 100 to 200, 200 milligrams per day, pretty low dose. Um, I'm gonna start doing cardio every day because it's just gonna be for 30 days. So I'm thinking I'll do it seven days a week but my lifting will only be for five days a week. Um, and then to retain the muscle, I'm gonna stay on, I think, Osterine. Hey, what's up, Supplement Genius? I'm gonna stay, I think I'm gonna stay on the uh, Osterine and uh, add an S4, potentially, for the cut to see how, see how it goes. Like, maybe I'll add an S4 at like, start out with 25 milligrams once a day, and then step that up to 75 milligrams by the end of the month, along with having progressive overload for my cardio output. And I'll do like the logging of the whole process. So S4 is a green, yo, I was about to do a video on S4 tonight actually, um, but do, I've never had any negative side effects with it. So I was thinking combining that with the DMP and the Ostery and the MK677 for a, uh, for the cutting phase in June. It's very expressive though. So I have no reacts on hand. Have, yes. Well, what I was thinking is actually taking Clomid intermittently throughout the month to notice that because uh, Clomid increases your FSH and your LH. The FSH is like what tells your balls to produce perm and LH is what tells your balls to produce testosterone, right? I've been experiencing with severe Hey, I don't know a lot about the aloe vera side of it, but art, but I actually think I might have apple cider vinegar. I'll get into phases with that 
Well, I'll try it like three or four times a week, and then I might not have it for like a couple weeks, and then go back to it. Before the video, send me a link when you finish. I'm gonna be potent for me. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to read at the same time. Uh, I would run it also from what I read. It was the same effective as they hit the same receptors. Clomid can be used afterwards as well. Well, because like last time, my reason for putting Clomid um, during the month of uh, during the month of uh, June was to keep. I noticed I was getting some symptoms of low test. By the way, I, I ordered some tests, of course, through my doctor. It's doctors who prescribed with their Rimidex and HCG. So I have both of those on deck, but I think it's coming from Europe. So I might not get it for two weeks or something. Uh, so I might start that halfway through the month of June as well, depending on when it comes in the mail. But the um, clomiphene uh, helped a lot with those symptoms of low test. So I've been taking it intermittently for the past week or so, and I noticed a big difference in my mood and just overall, like, uh, my sense of well-being, like, I always felt good, but just, like, the overall mood and energy level, I felt, like, increased. And if anybody's been following for a while, I'm a pretty fucking high-energy dude most of the time. Also, with beaten powder, it's supposed to increase endurance. Hey, Ark, uh, supplement beast, supplement genius. Hey, what's up, Al Stofus? Um, Ark, um, supplement genius knows a shitload about nutrition, so supplement genius. Uh, check out Art afterwards. All right, if you have any questions, supplement genius is fucking on point with that shit, and he knows his shit. So, like, I'm sure if you DM'd him, he would probably answer any of your questions about that, because I would, I would actually defer to him. He knows more. Hey, what's up? Hey, Judge, or whatever the last name is. Um, Supplement Genius knows a lot more. Yeah, like, look, check out his shit, because he knows a lot of good shit. Yo, Supplement Genius, I was thinking about fucking doing this as my cardio every week. Um, I feel like this would be way more productive than than doing a, uh, uh, just doing my cardio and playing around on Instagram. Or maybe we can get a fucking, uh, yeah, dude, anytime. Uh, maybe we can get like a live stream going and just talk about charms and shit at some point. Or steroids. I'm thinking, so for the, uh, when the testosterone gets here from my doctor, of course, um, I was thinking doing 250 per week every Sunday a Remedex every other day for half a pill because I don't think I'm going to need much. I never really seem to have a tremendous amount of conversion to estrogen. And then HCG, um, 500 to 1,000 milligrams every other week or mic micrograms or whatever. Plaster, uh, sipping aid. And my girlfriend's walking over here, which means that I got to get running. Whoops. She's... There you want to say hi. So she's basically like, hey Sam, you gotta get the fuck off your phone. Hey, uh, supplement with genius. Let's figure out a time to do a live call together and we can have other people comment on it. I just wanna have it on deck just in case. But yo, thanks everybody. I'll be probably on tomorrow too. Peace.